already. Now, on my last house project, one of the things that I did not do a good job of was show progress in a video format. I took some video, I never used it, so hopefully this one actually makes it online. But I wanted to kind of show you, this is our little side yard here. But I want to show you, here's what we're gonna be working on today. So we have this old shed. Now this house was built in 1880, and I'm pretty sure that this also was uh, at least partially constructed around the same time. It's an old shed, it's an old carriage shed. Um, that they then kind of made into a garage. So we're putting some old boxes in here, but we don't really have anything in it. Um, and we have these bays that we wanna go tear out. We're gonna tear the whole thing down. Gonna take you around the back here. We're gonna tear the whole thing down. And uh, probably actually even this, this is an apartment as well. We're gonna tear down both of these things eventually. And we're going to build a garage with a apartment above it. So kind of combine the two structures. But anyway, this thing's old. Um, it's not really worth keeping. Um, it kind of looks cool, but not cool enough to save. Um, so yeah, so our project today, I have my helper right here. Say hi, Elijah. Ha ha, I'm gonna throw, I hate throw that, you guys. He's a silly kiddo. But anyway, so we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna tear down all this old barn wood today. Um, that's in these dividers. Uh, and then hopefully reuse it. Um, maybe sell or give away some of it as well. So I'm gonna try to see if I can salvage as much of the lumber as I can out of this place, but who knows what'll actually happen. Oh, so anyway, yeah. oh, he's getting started. But anyway, that's what we're gonna get doing. Hey, Elijah. Trying to do it nope. by headphones. Nope. We, we don't do it with your headphones. Why? Um, hammers are the tool for the job. Oh. He's really eager. But anyway, um, it, we are going to, uh, yeah, tear this down, put it on time lapse, hopefully see some progress. All right, so ran into our first snag. Turn this down, we got, you know, one board out. But here's the issue. When they went and made this thing, like I said, really old house. The concrete was poured after they put the wood in place, so, I'm gonna have to go grab my sawzall and cut all the way along that to hopefully get all these pieces out. So, a little bit of a snag, but let me go get the sawzall and a long extension cord, and hopefully I can get things going again. All right, with that, my little helper and I have uh, cleared out one of the walls in here. And we got a nice little stack of wood to start with. Next up is on this wall. So I need to go see how much work that's gonna be from the other side. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with all of this stuff. So yeah, making some progress. There we go. Until next time. All right, I lied last time when I said I was done. I wasn't actually done. Ended up going a little further on this than uh, we had before. So let me guide you through what we've done. So if we look here, um, like, like we started, we pulled all that out, but then we decided to go ahead and pull out all the siding that was on here. We can walk around. Oh, found this really attractive linoleum hanging on the side because, you know, you hang linoleum on the wall with a piece of construction, right? Right? All right, all right, so then we're gonna go through, and then we got the back side. So we got all this stuff here. Bunch of stuff there, and then uh, here's all like the semi-decent stuff that we'll try to sell off or give away. And then if we uh, look at this stuff right here, we have all the good wood, good wood, the good lumber um, that we're hoping to make a kitchen table out of. So, and I even have the wife out to help a little bit. For our kitchen. Oh yeah. 
But anyway, that I think is a wrap for today. I can't tear off this wall over here yet because I have stuff in there that I need to figure out what to do with. Um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, that's pretty good progress. Um, unfortunately, it's all concrete on the floor. So that means we'll have to probably get a jackhammer to break it up. Not as easy to dispose of, but might get a roll off in here. Uh, try to put it all away and uh, throw it all away. So yeah, um, that that's also hopefully in a few months, you know, a new pad gets poured here and we have a uh, garage on its way. So who knows? Who knows when that'll actually happen? It's crazy times, crazy times. But until next time, see you later. Stay safe out there.